What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to take a look at the TW01 accessory pack for MP52 Starscream. So this set I bought from ShowZ. I haven't really seen it in any of the US retail stores so it seems like that's the only place to buy. I will put a link in the description since that's the only place I can find it. Now this is a $30 set so you really get uh, a lot for that money but let's talk about the uh, accessories you get and how good they are. And you can see there are some gold stickers, at least I believe they're stickers. Now I appear to be missing one, I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like there should be one right there in between these two lines. Maybe not, but I'd have to look at the original pictures, but it looks like it should be like that. But other than that, I mean this is beautifully done. It's purple plastic with those gold stickers or paint. Um, this does come apart. It is hollow inside, so if you pull this apart on those pegs, you can see just a hollow plastic. But I don't care. It doesn't matter because it works. You can have him sitting on this, although Starscream never really sat on the throne more than he tried to take the set on the throne and never got to. But you can get him sitting here, and it looks really good. He fits perfectly on here. It's just a good... Good size for MP and it fits in nicely. Uh, but you can put some other figs in there, so let's take a look at that. Right, and there we have Megatron on the throne. This works. You, you do have to kind of uh, angle him forward at his waist, but it really does look good on there. I'm actually going to display this this way on my shelf because I think it just looks really cool. Um, but yeah, there you go. Right, and there it is with the Fans Toy Sovereign. This is the toy version. This is the only one I had in robot mode. It doesn't really work. He's too big. Um, he's not even really sitting, honestly. He's kind of floating. Also, I had to fold this piece up because it was sitting back and it wouldn't let him sit. So, this is the best I could get it. I also have his hip skirts folded out. Um, you can fake it, but it's not. It's, it's a little too small for him. And for completeness, there it is with Shockwave. It doesn't really work. He's just too big and he can't get his knees far back enough so I mean he fits on it but it just he doesn't sit properly but there you go all right now let's take a look at the coronation parts and let's start with these and these actually have a complication to them but they come like this with this folded inwards you really want to fold them so you have it all the way out and this these two tabs are going to fit on the inside of the shoulder and that can cause a little confusion because you have to rotate that but if you take off this Null ray, and then you slide this. You want these two tabs to end up on the inside of the shoulders, right here. So I'll try to show you from the bottom here, but basically slide that over. It could potentially scrape the paint, so you just want to be careful. If you do have a KO, it's more likely to scrape because the paint is a little bit cheaper. But there you go, fit on there. Now you have it on there, you can rotate at that joint because it's around the shoulder. And then you can take this and this can fit in here. Actually you can fold this down then put this in there and now he can articulate his arm without a problem because this moves up like that and the arm can go up. So really ingenious. I like the design of that. That's nicely done. Alright so let's get the other one on there. Same thing and uh, you're ready to rock and roll. Next we'll take a look at the crown. So here's the crown Beautifully painted. It's a nice gold paint. I, I remember the original Takara one that we got recently wasn't this shiny. This one's pretty shiny. And you got the nice metallic red paint. Obviously the big one's going to go on the front. So you're going to push in on his ears. And this will fit right on top and the ears kind of hold it with tension. But it's really nice. It's a nice crown. Last bit here is this. So it actually comes with an extra adapter. I'm not sure why, if I had to guess, I would say it's probably because they're giving you an extra part just in case it breaks. Um, it looks identical, so I don't think you need this. You can just set this aside, but it's there just in case you do have a problem with this one. All right, so this is going to go into these two slots on the back. It is fit for MP52 only, so it's not going to fit on Deformation Space. It's not going to fit on Make Toys. It is really designed specifically with this adapter or MP52. Alright, so now that you have it on there, you can rotate at that joint. It is off-center, so like that it's fine, but when you open this up, 
kind of gets off center, but you can have it with the cape open all the way or closed. Either way, it does look good. So final thoughts on the TW01 accessory pack for MP52 Starscream. Let's start with the positives. You get a lot here. This is a pretty good value. For $30, you're getting this throne, the cape, the two pieces, the crown, and an extra little piece here in case it breaks. That's a lot for, for $30. It feels, it feels like it's a good value. Also, I do like the design of this better than the official, so I did have the pleasure of reviewing that original thanks to a buddy of mine who sent it to me. You could only get it through Japan, so unless you had somebody in Japan as a proxy to help you and you got the UPCs from the Three Seekers sent over to Japan, you couldn't actually get it. So this is really the only option for most people is to buy a set like this. Now, I mistakenly thought this was a KO, but it's actually not a KO, it's its own design. So the design of the hinge here, the design of the crown, and the design of this thing, and the design of the cape are all unique to this. Uh, if you remember I, in my original review, this backpack stuck out much further. It was a slide down piece, uh, it, so it was definitely much uh, wider sticking out from the back, and a lot of people complained about that saying, you know, it should be a little bit sleeker. So this is actually improved upon that. It's its own design. Same for these shoulder pads, same for the crown. So I kind of think it's its its own thing. I guess it's third party. They say fourth party, but I think it's third party because I don't think they copied anything here. I think it seems like they've made their own thing. Now they are using it with a official figure, but the accessories here appear to be an original design, as far as I can tell. Um, but either way, I really like it. The only negative I can think of is this piece here. It does uh, like to not really hold. I did try tightening that screw, and it it doesn't. It still doesn't want to hold up this cape. Whether you have it open or closed doesn't seem to matter. You know, you can't get that wind windswept look. So you can just sort of leave it there and hope it stays on, type of thing. You know, it's not really that dynamic. Um, but it works for me. For the price point that it's at, I mean, it's really a really good add-on for this figure. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.